Hey y'all, this is Natasha. So I'm going to show you how to do some weighted squats at home. Um, it's really similar to the machine that you see in the gym. It has that shoulder harness and you know, you pile the weights on the side. Then you climb up on the machine and then, you know, you put your feet out. Then you lay back into the harness and then you do your squats. When, you know, most, you know, you kind of hold on. That's me holding on to the thing because you kind of hold on right there. But most people don't have that machine at home. So, show you kind of like a little, a good substitute so that you can do a weighted squats at home. So, you use your ball. Use your ball and use a wall. And there you go. You got that tilt going. You know, put your feet out kind of in front of you. And then you can tilt. So your body is not straight up and down. You're not straight up and down on the um, ball. You're tilted out just like you are on the machine. So then you're just going to do a nice deep squat. Um, you're going to go all the way down. If, if, you, if you go right here, you're only going to get a little bit. But this is where you want to go to. You want your body to be kind of like a 90 degree, kind of like an L. L's right here, L's right here, 90 degrees. And you should feel this muscle right here, you should feel them tighten up. And that's what you're gonna do. But, I mean, if you're just getting started, you might wanna just, you know, test your range of motion or just get the feel for it with no weights do no weights first and then add on your weights and when you add on your weights you can use either the kettlebells or you can use your dumbbells i recommend the kettlebells because it just feels better to me but for me my kettlebells the only set of kettlebells i have is the um, 15 pounds i have one 10 pounds and one 25 pounds so um kettlebells um don't really um at home it doesn't do it for me because i i would i like uh more weight so but with your kettlebell so you grab your kettlebell and you just going up and down with your weighted squats And then you do that 12 times, which I've already done 12 times. And then you can go up. And for the ladies who um who only want to tone and define, you don't really not really trying to get any muscle, just stay at your low weight. Don't increase your weight. Increasing the weight is what is what brings on the muscles, you know. So if you just want to be, you know, nice, smooth, beach body. Don't increase your weight. If you're trying to uh, compete, if you're trying to compete and um, get the boom, 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 then you want to increase your weight. And I've already used the 25 pounds. This is probably like my third video. I keep messing up on the video. So I've already done it 12 reps with the 15. I've already done 12 reps with the 25 and so now I need to do my 12 reps with the 35s. And so heavier weight, you're still going to do the exact same thing. Hold the weights to your side, tilt back on the ball, and squat. And I'm tired. <laughs> but y'all get the idea. So I'll finish the rest of them off camera. But that's a very good way to get a weighted squat done at home. And not too bad on your body. Alright. I'll talk to y'all later. That was hard. Bye.